Hi everyone, um, <clears throat> this is a quick video to explain your, um, I suppose you could call it English, um, task for Thursday and Friday. The reason I say I suppose is because it does involve some writing, but it also, the main purpose of this task, the main job I want you to do is to make somebody smile. So the other day we made rainbows and lots of you guys sent me your um, amazing rainbows and I've got to be honest, I was like, oh, you guys are amazing. I saw these rainbows in people's windows and A, I was really proud of you all and B, I was like, do you know what? You are just kind people um, because you put these rainbows in your window and some, some of you spent hours on them and they're amazing. And I just know that anybody walking past your house is going to see them and smile. But your job for Thursday and Friday this week, this is your last sort of English job for the week, you are going to write a letter. And you are going to write a letter to somebody to make them smile. <clears throat> it could be somebody in your house somebody that you live with, um, mum, dad, auntie, uncle, carer, brother, sister, whoever, or it could be somebody who is uh, not living in your house, but is maybe a little bit lonely at the moment, or maybe needs somebody to put a smile on their face. So I am going to write to my granny. Um, and probably my grandpa too, actually. I'm going to write to my grandpa too. Um, and the reason that I'm going to write to them is because they live on their own and they live a long way away from me. And I think that sometimes it might be quite lonely for them. And they are absolutely lovely people. When I was younger, they used to look after me in the summer holidays. And, and it makes me a little bit sad sometimes that I can't see them, especially at the moment. We can't go and visit them. And I did. I have FaceTimed them lots just recently. Um, but I know that they miss their family and I know that it can be quite difficult when they don't live with the people that they love. So I am going to write both of them. Yes, I'm going to do two letters. I'm going to write both of them a letter to make them smile. Now, Thursday is going to be your day to plan your letter. So you don't have to have a completely finished, perfect letter by the end of Thursday. You don't have to. Thursday is going to be your planning day. So what I am going to do, what I would suggest that you guys do, is spend your time on Thursday writing a list of things that you are going to say in your letter. So for me, for example, I am going to explain why I am writing my letter. I am going to say lots and lots of nice things and I am going to explain lots of happy memories that I have with my grandpa because I know that when he reads that, that will make him smile. And I'm going to try and find a really nice way to finish off my letter. Um, not just, oh, hope to see you soon, although I might write that, but I'm going to try and think of something a little bit more interesting that will fill him with happiness, that will fill him with hope. So Thursday, you are going to plan what is going in your letter. And Friday, you are going to actually write your letter. Now, if you would like, um, just got a notification there. Um, if you would like on Thursday to sort of create a bit of a draft and send it to me, um, I'm absolutely happy to check through them. Um, you can email them to me on Class Dojo. You can email them to me with my school email address, which you guys all have. Um, and uh, so either of those is fine and I'm happy to give you any feedback. Um, they can be handwritten or typed, completely up to you. <clears throat> but I would like you guys to plan them on Thursday and write them on Friday. So Friday, you will already have a good idea of what's going to go into your letter. And you are going to write it in the most amazing, neat, beautiful, joined up handwriting. And I am going to aim, when I write my letter, I'm going to aim for at least one page. And the reason for that is because it shows that I care when I write to my grandpa. If I've written a good amount, he's going to sit there and think, oh my goodness, Mrs. Thompson's really put a lot of effort into this. She must really care about me. And that's going to make him smile even more. I also am going to make it absolutely stunning. I'm going to use my best handwriting um, because... He, that will make him think that I care even more. If I use like my quick, scrappy handwriting, he's going to think, oh, I've got this letter and it says lots of nice things, but she hasn't put much effort into it. So I'm going to try and write at least a page and I'm going to try and make it as neat as possible because 
if you open a page and it's only a few lines, you might you might read that letter and think, oh my God, I'm so excited. I've got this lovely letter. And then it's over. OK, so I'm going to try and make it around about a page because then I will have lots of space to write lots of kind, lovely things. And remember, the aim of this letter is to make somebody smile. And I am hoping that you guys might be able to post it. So if the person that your letter is addressed to um, doesn't doesn't live with you, isn't in your house, you absolutely can write to that person. If you are able to post it, then fabulous. If you are not, then please save it and uh, bring it into school when we're all back in school and I will post them for you. So if you can post it yourself, fab. If you can't, don't panic, save it up and um, I will uh, post them out when we are back in school. I'm going to show you a quick time lapse now of me planning my letter and me writing my letter. I'm going to do two letters, but I'm just going to show you a time lapse of me planning and writing my letter to give you guys a bit of an idea of what you are aiming for. And then at the end of this video, I'm going to give you some sentence starters. So you, you don't have to use these. These can these are just really for you um, to help you out if you if you need them. You can absolutely come up with your own, but I'm going to give them to you so that you can use them if you want. You can adapt them. And um, yeah, I'm really excited because we've had a week of rainbows and spreading happiness and general positivity. And I know that you guys are going to write some awesome letters and I look forward to seeing your work. So Here's the time lapse. See you later.